Hey, this is Stephen Monson with EasyNet Tools. And today we're going to talk about how to make your website load faster through image optimization. This is a really important technique, and it's actually really not that hard at all. Basically, if you want your website to, to do well, you need to make sure that it loads fast. And the easiest way to do that is to make sure that your images are optimized. This doesn't require you to be a web technician or anyone with extremely complex skills. You just need to know how to basically download an image and run it through a program that will optimize it, which I'm gonna show you here in just a little bit. I'm gonna show you a little technique also to help you understand what images need to be optimized. So let's say you have a website right here. This one's called Echo Farms. And Echo Farms, it loads a little bit slowly. If I refresh it, it'll load it's going to be a little slow, not as slow as it might be would be if I was on a slower internet connection because I'm actually on a pretty fast connection here. Plus, it's already been loaded before, so you know it's probably cached and everything. But there's actually some images on here that are really larger than they ought to be. And someone coming here for the first time, this is going to load pretty slowly, especially if they're like on a mobile connection or just have a slower internet connection in general. So when you make a website, how do you know what images you need to fix? Well, if you're in Firefox or Chrome or whatever, you can right click and say inspect. This is gonna bring up something called developer tools. Now, these can be a little bit intimidating to the uninitiated, but they're really not too scary, at least not what I'm gonna show you here today. So I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can see it. And you'll see here, there's a thing called the network tab. I'm gonna click on that. And this will show me all of the resources, all the font files and all of the images and everything else that's being loaded in, in the site. I'm gonna hit refresh just to make sure I get everything in here. And now I'm gonna click size up here to basically sort it from largest to smallest. This helps us identify the most important files that we need to fix. Uh, right here at the top, I see this large turkey image and that's actually right here. And it is 2.21 megabytes. This is way bigger than it needs to be. Now, for a lot of people, this was a good question, like how big is too big? How big should my images be? Well, let me give you an idea. Most images on a website should be less than 200 kilobytes. That's basically 0.2 megabytes. So maybe a fifth of a megabyte at most. Now, many images probably should be considerably smaller than that. For example, like these kinds of images that are kind of small, they should probably be between like 30 and 50 kilobytes, I would say. But this turkey is two megabytes, which is about 30 times larger than it really ought to be. So we're, we're gonna make sure we get that taken care of. And then if I go back to the network tab here, the second image is uh, an image down here, this little sheep tractor image. It's, it's also considerably larger than it needs to be. Um, and finally, this main banner image at the top. You click here, this is the main banner image, and you'll see that it is almost a megabyte in size. It doesn't need to be. We're going to fix that really quickly. So here's what you need to do. Right click on the image and choose open image in a new tab. Again, I'm in Firefox, so this will be a little bit specific to that because Firefox honestly is a really good browser for when you're building websites. It's just, it has good developer tools. It works well. Chrome's good too. Um, there's plenty of other good ones as well, but I'm going to right click and I'm going to save this image. And I'm going to pull it in here. You can see that it's 961 kilobytes. We're going to use an online tool called squoosh.app. That's S Q U O O S H dot A P P. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this as well. So if I'm going to take this image, I'm just going to drag it right in. And right away, you're going to see the image uh, with a little slider. This thing actually lets you see before and after. And really crucially, it shows you. Here's the before size, and here is the after size over here on the bottom right. So we're going to take it from 985 kilobytes down to 143 kilobytes. So that's you know 85% smaller. Um, now there's a slider here called the quality slider, and if I want this to get even smaller, I can kind of drag this around. Now if I go way too far, you'll see that it starts to look really bad. You know, I've dragged it down to a six. You should almost never drag something down to a six, right? But the range you probably want to, want to be in is somewhere between 60 and 80. Uh, these are the areas where you're going to not see too much of a difference. Um, I'm going to take it to 70 right here. 
and that's going to make it 127 kilobytes. I'm going to click on this little blue button and it's going to let me save it. And I'll just save it right here. Actually, I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to put a little, put a little OPT at the end. That stands for like optimization. You don't have to use that convention. It's just one I use myself. But now I have my optimized version of this image and I still have the original if I need it, right? Then all you need to do is go log into your website, upload it, and replace the existing image with the new one. So it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. One more thing I'm going to show you is resizing images. Now, this image right now, it is, if I click on this, you'll actually see that it is 1920 by 680. Uh, it's basically the perfect size for like an HD, you know, 1080p screen. Uh, so we're going to leave the size alone. I think that's a good size for that banner image. But there's another image right here, this Heritage Turkey. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to open it in a new tab as well. And you'll see if I click here, this is the actual size of this image. It's really big. It's actually bigger than the majority of screens that we would ever see it, unless like a 4K screen. And even a 4K screen won't be able to tell the difference at this size. So it's, it's far larger than it needs to be. If I wanted to make this exactly the right size, um, I could right click on this and you'll see it actually tells me the size that is showing up on the screen. It's 320 pixels wide by 173 pixels tall. So if I go and I download this image, did I download it? I can't remember. Let's download it. Downloading the image. And then I'm going to go back to my Squoosh app here. And I'm going to drag it like so. And here, without even doing any resizing, we're going to take it from 2.3 to 284 kilobytes. So it's like 88% smaller. Not bad at all. But let's say we want to get it down to be that size on the screen, which I think was 320 pixels wide. So it'd be like roughly that. Now it's only 10 kilobytes in size. Now I could go a little bit bigger, like maybe I want the image to look kind of sharper on maybe retina screens, so I could go double, right? So this is 320 pixels wide, but let's just say I wanted to make it double that, which would be uh, 640. It's still going to only be 33 kilobytes. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to call it Turkey Opt. So just my optimized version of this Turkey. And now instead of 2.2 megabytes, we're looking at 32 kilobytes, which for an image this size is just about perfect. You know, it's going to load really fast, almost instantly on a decent connection. And yeah, just go in and replace that image on the website. So again, developer tools can be really handy. Like I said, they allow you to see the size of something on the screen. This 320 wide, like, oh, I can just optimize it to be what it's showing. And it's really helpful because it lets you identify images that are problems on your existing site. So that's kind of your, your, secret, your secret tool there. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if this video is helpful for you, you know, give it a like. And hope you're having a great day. And yeah, stay cool.